hi guys welcome to my youtube channel and in this video i will briefly discuss about capacitance of parallel plate capacitor first of all we need to understand about what is parallel plate capacitor it is a two parallel plates having one plate is containing a positive charge and other plate having a negative charge so the distance between these two plates is known as d and the separation between these two plates is known as vacuum or air so first of all we will take the example or we will consider the case of vacuum in order to understand the capacitance of vacuum of parallel plate capacitor so capacitance simple capacitance has a formula uh, c is equal to q over v here so the distance or separation between these two parallel plates are known as d so electric field intensity will be find out or will be calculated or will be given for this case so e is equal to v over d voltage per unit distance this is electric field intensity of two parallel plate capacitor having uh, separation or distance d furthermore the surface charge density can also be found out find out on the plate the surface charge density is equal to charge per unit area it means the number of charges per unit area of the plate so capacitance electric field intensity and surface charge density of these parallel plate capacitor is given so this sigma is denoted as or its name is surface charge density for our convenience which is known as charge per unit area furthermore we need to calculate the capacitance of vacuum having these specifications of parallel plate capacitor one plate containing a positive charge and other plate containing a negative charge so for this scenario we can find out the capacitance or we need to calculate the capacitance in the previous chapter in the previous topics we have discussed about the electric field intensity of two parallel plate capacitors in which the parallel plates are infinitely distant so the uh, electric field intensity was sigma over epsilon naught this topic is from gauss's law or application of gauss's law so from from this expression electric field intensity has a formula is equal to v over d so we will replace electric field intensity by v over d so the furthermore the surface charge density can also be replaced from the charge per unit area for this expression so charge per unit area can also be find out from this expression so this charge per unit area divided by epsilon naught so our motive or our focus is to find out the capacitance or value of capacitance for this vacuum or the value of capacitance for these two parallel plate capacitor having vacuum between these two plates so surface charge density and capacitance has a formula is equal to q over v so we need to convert this expression in the form of q over v or in order to find out the value of capacitance for vacuum so uh, we will simplify this expression q over a into epsilon naught is equal to v over d if we replace this value of voltage in the other side of the equation it will be divided it will be q over v is equal to a epsilon naught over d because a epsilon naught can also be moved from the other side so q over v is known as capacitance for vacuum so we will replace this value uh, in the form of capacitance is equal to a epsilon naught over d this is the final expression for the capacitance of vacuum having the area of the plate epsilon naught and the distance between these two parallel plates or separation between these two parallel plates so it means capacitance is inversely proportional to the separation if separation is very very high or plates are placed uh, away from each other or wide from each other then the capacitance can be low so these are inversely proportional having the area constant so in the other case uh, if we place a medium so in this case we will discuss two cases uh, for when two plates are separated by vacuum and when two plates are separated by some medium it means that when any medium is placed between these these two parallel plates of the capacitor then what will be the effect of capacitance so previous in the previous uh, expression or calculations we have calculated the value of capacitance for vacuum 
because there was no medium between these two parallel plates but in the next case there is a medium or there this medium can be any medium dielectric or some paper or some wood in order to understand the behavior of capacitance because capacitance may increase or decrease depending upon the medium so the capacitance having medium as a formula is equal to a epsilon naught over d into epsilon r this epsilon naught is known as relative permittivity because when medium is placed between these two parallel plates of the capacitor then the relative permittivity may happen or may occur in order to reduce or increase the value of capacitance so it is very dependent on the value of capacitance of the medium because relative permittivity include the value of capacitance of um, uh, of vacuum as well as the value of capacitance of medium so in order to uh, calculate the value of relative permittivity that how much relative permittivity is needed if we place any medium so if we place any medium we can also calculate the relative permittivity of any medium so the uh, relative permittivity of any medium regarding the capacitance of the medium and capacitance of vacuum so this is a ratio of capacitance of medium over capacitance of vacuum because these two cases are uh, explained in order to understand the value of capacitance or behavior of capacitance in vacuum and medium so the definition of relative permittivity is written as the ratio of capacitance of parallel plate capacitors so in these two cases we are dealing with parallel plate capacitor so ratio of capacitance of parallel plate capacitor having medium over the uh, value of capacitance of parallel plate capacitor having vacuum so this is the ratio and if these two ratios are equal then relative permittivity is one uh, similarly or relatively if we use the vacuum so we can replace the value of medium with respect to vacuum and relative permittivity is value of one or if we use the relative permittivity or if we use the medium or dielectric medium as a air so relative permittivity will be nearly equal to one this is a final expression of relative permittivity and in this video we have discussed about uh, capacitance of parallel plate capacitors in which we discussed that how the capacitance can be calculated in the vacuum and how capacitance can be also be calculated when applying some medium so up till now we have discussed about the capacitance of two parallel plate capacitors and if you like our video you can subscribe our channel for more videos see you soon